Here are the solutions to the uh, unit 1.2 quiz. So problem number one has a um, plastic rod with a uniform volume charge density. That charge density is given as 4 times 10 to the negative fifth coulombs per cubic meter. And in part A, we have to find the electric field at uh, point number one. So we'll start with Gauss's law, the integral of EDA is equal to Q in over epsilon naught. So if we want to find the electric field at point one, then our Gaussian surface should look something like this one. So we have E times 2 pi r. So the length of the whole rod is given as L, so I'll say the length of my Gaussian surface is L prime. 2 pi r L prime. Okay, and that's equal to Q in over epsilon naught. Now, the amount of charge that's inside of this Gaussian surface is the integral of rho dv. But the uh, charge density is uniform, so we can take rho out of the integral sign. So this is rho times the integral of dv. But of course, this just gives us all of the volume for which the charge is enclosed. So this can be substituted with pi r squared times L prime. Okay, so we'll cut out this part of the equation. Then we see there's this L prime on both sides. So we'll cancel that out. So pi, cancel that out. In fact, we can cancel the squared on this r if we cancel this. So we have E is equal to rho times r over 2 epsilon naught. So the value of r we're talking about in this case would be 3 millimeters. So we get the electric field is equal to 4 times 10 to the negative fifth coulombs per cubic meter multiplied by 0 0.003 meters divided by 2 times 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12th um, Okay, so the end result is 6,780 newtons per coulomb. Part B, we have to find what's the linear charge density of the rod. Well, that's equal to the total charge of the rod divided by its total length L. And the total charge of the rod is the volume charge density times the total volume. This gives us rho times pi r squared L. Cancel out the L. And so the value we're looking for can be calculated as pi times rho times r squared. So this is pi times 4 times 10 to the negative fifth. I'll leave out the units. And the value of r we want in this case is no longer 3 millimeters. Now we want the full uh, 5 millimeters. Don't forget that value is squared. And so this gives us a linear charge density of pi times 10 to the negative ninth coulombs per meter, or if you prefer, 3.14 times 10 to the negative ninth coulombs per meter. And then part C, we have to find the electric field at point number two. So we're going to change our Gaussian surface.
integral of EDA is equal to Q in over epsilon naught. Again, I'll say the length of my Gaussian surface is L prime. So E times 2 pi R L prime is equal to lambda times L prime over epsilon naught. Right? This will find the amount of charge that resides inside of that Gaussian surface. The L prime cancels out. So we have E is equal to lambda over 2 pi r epsilon naught. We have pi times 10 to the negative ninth divided by 2 pi times 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12th. And then the value of r we're looking for here, let's see, we'd have to add the value of a plus the value of b to get the value of r. So I believe that gives us 10 millimeters, or 10 times 10 to the negative third. Pi cancels out. We find the electric field is 5,650 newtons per coulomb. Okay, uh, question number two in the next video.